This grass is named Junkao grass. It's invented by Chinese uh, scientist Lin Zhangxi. So Junkao grass means, Jun means uh, fungi, and uh, Kao means grass. Junkao grass is invented uh, in China and uh, as a hybrid and the perennial for 20 years, over 20 years. It has been introduced to over 108 countries and promoted by UN Peace and Development Trust Fund. As uh, this grass has been uh, recognized as uh, African Chinese new solution for African poverty alleviation. The grass introduced to Kenya with the approval of kafis. We can see this grass has no seeds, uh, no flower. So it's free of uh, pest and uh, free of uh, free risk of uh, plant invasion. The grass can be used for animal feeders, fodder, also can be used for mushroom production and uh, it has multiple functions such as desertification, degradation, uh, soil erosion and uh, improving uh, biodiversity. So this is a product for Africa to cope with uh, climate change. This grass, after plantation for two months, we harvest, every two months harvest once, it can go about two meters. One year it goes for about six or eight meters high. The protein is about 18.6%. Uh, while it is fresh, like this one, the uh, crude protein is about 16 up to 18%. Once it's growing higher, above 2 or 3 meters higher, the crude protein is about 13.5% above. So we use, uh, use it as for uh, roughage. Once it is fresh, like this one, we use it for concentrate for the dairy cows. Using this uh, fodder, uh, we can increase the milk production at least 50% higher and reducing the dairy cost about 50%. We're going to sell the grass at 50% of Boma Road's hay. So we're going to supply uh, the cuttings to the local farmers, welcome the broad uh, inclusion of the livestock farmers to join with us to promote this drink of grass plantation. Uh, during the drought period, as we know, over 50% of animals are dying in the ASO counties. So with this grass, after silage, it can be reserved for two up to three years. And we can uh, challenge uh, uh, with the drought uh, crisis and help the farmers. So this grass is going to address fodder shortage for good once it is planted. Locally there are different uh, plants for animal feeds such as uh, boma rose, uh, napier grass, bracaria and the whole maize plant. So boma hay because of its poor yielding and no crude protein, it is uh, planted in some area uh, by rain feed. And uh, napier grass, it is popular to, uh, in this country, but it is no in uh, crude protein and uh, yielding, and also it has disease so it's not uh, properly promoted. This maize 
the country is in shortage of uh, food supply. This uh, made as a feed used for animal feed. It's going to cause the conflict between uh, uh, crop production and uh, livestock herders. So this grass can address this challenge and the saving uh, food for the human being. Uh, after pl pl plantation of the grass, it takes about two months. It's growing up to 1.5 up to 2 meters high. So we can harvest at this height, we can harvest once. Yeah. So every year it can be harvested for six times. Per acre, we expect about uh, 150 up to 180 tons uh, in case uh, water and uh, fertilizer sufficient supplied uh, applied. Uh, after harvesting, we take it to workshop the, for crushing and the silage. Uh, each package about 50 to 60 kilo were selling 1,000 shilling up to 1,200 shilling, which is 50% uh, of Bomahe. As the napier grass, uh, it is a more popular for long uh, history compared with this uh, drink out grass. It is a hybrid and has a high yielding and a high crude protein. It's much more superior than napier grass. So this grass can be widely accepted by the livestock farmers. Uh, this uh, grass plantation, once you plant it, just to give it uh, manure uh, and also feed with sufficient water, du particularly during the first year, the roots going down deeply, so it grows very well. We don't need any intensive supervision and uh, technical backup for this grass. It's growing very fast and uh, the roots deepening to underground about uh, 1.5 up to 2 meters deep. So it is sustainable with the underground uh, humidity. So uh, it is a perennial over 25 years up to 30 years. Now this grass has been introduced to uh, Nakuru County, uh, Kajado, uh, Wajia, Tukana, uh, Kitui County, and uh, Kakamega. Bogoma and others. So from the farmer's response, the grass growing well and accepted by the livestock production. This grass can be used as a substrate for mushroom production. Initially, this grass was invented for the purpose of mushroom production to substitute forest harvesting to save the forest. Thereafter, we found this grass has more uh, multifunctional uh, use as uh, for the grass and also for uh, desertification. And uh, we are going to establish a uh, mushroom training, uh, mushroom production center in Kentucky County and other counties to help the farmers uh, for the purpose of uh, food security. This farm in the peak season we have nearly about uh, 80 people per day. Once it is planted uh, and the uh, irrigation system established, we maintain about 25 uh, neighbors daily. We don't use much uh, fertilizer, we just use manure from the neighboring uh, farms. Each acre we use about uh, about uh, six or up to eight metric tons manure. Yeah. And uh, for the water, it's uh, the key for the success of the farm plantation. As we know, water is a lifeline for all farming plants. Without water, there will be no good harvesting expected. So compared with Boma hay, uh, which is based on the rainforest. Nowadays, rain because of the climate change, rainforest not reliable. So we must drill borehole using the underground water. 
to make the plants sustainable so so it can uh, produce high yieldings yeah this is the only solution for Kenya's livestock production without the food uh, without the forage supply all efforts for commercialization of livestock production will be in vain we must beginning from fodder production first inside of the stem we see the soft content which has rich uh, crude protein after after processing this one becomes soft and uh, all of the fibers are softened and uh, crushed to different sizes if it is uh, like this is three centimeter up to five centimeter it's going to be consumed by uh, goat and the cow and then we can also crush it to powder for fish chicken pig rabbit and so on